Hey guys, so welcome to your love reading for Aquarius. This is going to be for your uh, second half of February from the 16th to the 29th. Uh, we are going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we'll take a look at your person to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situation. Switch the rules if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective, um, for the collective Aquarius people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, uh, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. Uh, also, you guys, I'm doing a giveaway. Uh, I'm going to give away one free 30-minute personal reading with me on Zoom. Um, so the details to enter in this giveaway is uh, listed out or written in the uh, community tab on my YouTube page. So if you guys are uh, looking to enter for a free reading, uh, take a look at the details and enter if you guys are interested. For those of you guys that enter, good luck. Okay, so let's get started here. Tell me about, um, tell me about uh, Aquarius, Aquarius and love. What's going on with Aquarius and love? And the person that they are connecting with for the second half of their February from the 16th to the 29th for um, for uh, Aquarius, Aquarius, the lovers here in the four cups. Mm, someone here is making a, a love offer to you. Okay, whoever this is, maybe this person's ready to commit to you. Could be dealing with a Gemini, uh, a Cancer here. You might have any of those energies in your chart. We have the Strength card here and the Six of Swords. Whoever this is, I feel like this person is patiently waiting for you to answer. Whether you want to move forward with them or not in a relationship. I mean, you could be making an offer to somebody here and you're patiently waiting for an answer for somebody, uh, from somebody. I mean, this could also be an offer like, hey, person, do you want to move in together with me or something like that? And you're waiting for this person to reply. Uh, you know, I do, I do feel like this is an energy of sort of like taking things to the next level here by perhaps moving in together or moving closer together. If this is a long distance relationship here, here's the thing. I feel like this person's a little bit scared here because I feel like things are getting really serious and I feel like whoever you're making this offer to you or whoever this is being made, uh, this offer is being made to, someone here is pulling their energies back, okay? The lovers here and the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the Four of Cups here and the Queen of Wands. I feel like someone here is falling in love or both you guys are falling in love with each other and I feel like you guys are trying to avoid each other here or avoid expressing your feelings towards each other. I feel like someone here is like waiting for someone or that both of you guys are waiting for each other to say it first you know because i feel like someone here doesn't want to say it yeah it's it's almost like an energy like it's not being said because i feel like someone here doesn't want to let themselves down or someone here is fear uh is fearing uh of rejection here the uh queen of cups cancer scorpio pisces queen of wands aries little sag the strength card here and the nine of pentacles with the six of swords here and the high priestess cancer pisces here you know, I feel like someone here knows that someone here is falling in love with somebody here. But I feel like someone here is not speaking it. Or like I said, I feel like someone here is waiting for someone to say it first, okay? The Two of Swords here and the King of Cups. Yeah, King of Cups to, to Queen of Cups. This is a soulmate connection here. There's a Four of Pentacles here and a Three of Swords. Okay. Someone here is definitely avoiding their feelings here for you. Um, you know, and I do feel like this person... <laughs> Uh, this king might be sabotaging this connection here by talking to somebody else here at the same time here too. Seems like this could be a third party situation where I feel like this person is definitely holding information, withholding information here from you. Uh, what else do we have here for Aquarius? Tell me about Aquarius' this person, their true feelings and intentions towards Aquarius for the second half of their February from the 16th to the 29th. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Okay, so we have the Page of Wands here and the Queen of Swords. I mean, how many people is this person talking to? Uh, it seems like this person is talking to quite a few people. Now, what I'm feeling here is that Aquarius, you might have made an offer to this person and this person rejected you. 
Yeah. Um, but I do, do feel like between you and your person, there is a soulmate connection here. You know, I do feel like this person is definitely stressing out about the situation here because I feel like this person doesn't really quite know what to do. You know, I feel like this, it's almost like I feel like this person feels like they, they feel like they weren't really meant to fall in love with you because they just wanted to have friends with benefits or just wanted to have fun here with you. But I feel like this person fell in love. And now I feel like this person, you know, pulled their energies back, but I feel like eventually they will come in with some sort of communication here to talk to you about things or to clear things up here with you. Knight of Swords here, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, the Eight of Wands here. Tell me about the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords here and the Ten of Cups. Wow, this person is singing a whole new different tune, a whole different beat here. You know, I feel like this person rejected you because I feel like this person, you know, was, wasn't really quite ready for a committed relationship, but I feel like this person's definitely having a change of mind or in a change of heart here because I do feel like this person now really wants this here. The Ten of Cups here and the Nine of Cups, tell me the Nine of Swords here, the Two of Cups, the Ace of, the, the Ace of Wands here, and the Ten of Wands, yeah. Um, this person's definitely really overwhelmed by how they feel about you here, and I feel like, you know, what's happening is that the heart what wants what it wants, and you feel like this person cannot deny how they feel about you anymore. Yeah, this person's definitely like feeling this these intense feelings here towards you, and they're they're definitely changing their mind, changing their heart here. You know, I feel like this person's definitely choosing balance over like toxicity. I mean, this person could be dealing with a couple of people that are toxic towards them. Or that this person has a history of connecting with toxic people here. So, like I said, I feel like this person's changing you know, play, playing a whole new different tune, a whole different beat here. This person definitely has a change of mind, change of heart. I do feel like this person was talking or, uh, or was talking to a couple of different people and they feel like now they're choosing you. Okay. Uh, what else do we have for, for Aquarius? What else does Aquarius need to know, look out for, work on? For the second half of their February from the 16th to the 29th for um, uh, Aquarius. So we have the Ten of Pentacles, yeah, Judgment, Sagittarius Energy and the Ten of Pentacles. Um, I feel like this person has a complete change of heart and a change of mind here. And I feel like this person will change your life in a really big way here with the five of wands and the five of swords. So this is like conflict. This is obstacles that you guys have been going through that I feel like you guys will overcome here. It seems like they're realizing that they're making the right choice here. And they feel like this person cannot lie to themselves anymore. And yeah, I feel like this person has been lying about their feelings here towards you. I feel like they can't lie to, about their feelings towards you. You know, I feel like you have their heart. Uh, they have your heart. Uh, uh, but I, I, yeah, I just feel like this person, you know, yeah, I just feel like this person just wants you. The queen of wands, uh, the king, king of wands here and the chariot, cancer energy, the seven of swords here. And yeah, this person cannot lie about how they feel about you anymore. Yeah, they can't deny it. They can't resist it. You know, they can't push it away. They can't, you know, uh, you know, get under someone to try and get over you, which I feel like this person might have been doing here. The five of swords here and the three of cups, uh, the five of wands here and the moon. I feel like nobody else will get in the way. You know, I feel like this person will put your fear at ease here. You know, I do feel like this person is definitely coming back and making this reconciliation really worth it here at this time. You know, Aquarius, you know, it's really up to you, your discernment and your intuition whether you want to take this back on or not. Uh, because you went through this experience with this person, but I do feel like this person is definitely making a big change here. You know, it seems like this person has really taken some time out for themselves to heal. Uh, I do feel like this person wants to create a safe space here for you, you know? So, you know, I do feel like this person is definitely changing. Uh, this person is definitely going to do better. But like I said, at the end of the day, it's really up to you uh, to decide whether you want to take this person back or not, okay? So, um... Aquarius, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.